morning, Cat. I heard from Mr. McIntosh's dog that you play the cello. Is that true? Hmm? Something's happening to me. It may be that I'm changing. People seem to want things from me. It has occurred to me to want things for myself. But I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's happening now. I don't know why it's happening to me. Chicken foot. Well, Mark's gonna read my fortune. Margie, Margie, somebody should read her fortune. She's had two husbands. No, one of them died, and one of them ran off. And don't be so judgmental. She is my friend. She's your friend. She's my friend. Ethan, do you really think that Marulo's gonna sell the store? Can't see why he wouldn't. Still got the name Holly on it. No reason why Holly shouldn't own it again. Yeah. It's gonna work out somehow. Don't know how, but it will. The devil's offspring has arisen. Eggs this morning. Fried like kiss and toast. Boiled in one piece of toast. Morning, son. I was thinking about that essay contest you're writing. I've almost finished mine. Well, maybe I could help you with it. I'm supposed to write it alone. I'm not going to help you write it. I just meant you could use some of the family books as research, the stuff I've got back there. I can write about America. I know how. Yeah, but there's a right way and a wrong way of doing things. What about my tree house? You said I could have one this year. Yeah, and you can. I'm going to build one for you this summer. Alan, you should take advantage of that. OK? Oh, get more Odie's, please. There's a bird whistle in the new one. And a moss face on the back. Mm -hmm. You mean like this? <laughs> OK. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Alan. How come he's like that? Because he's their father. All the money you got in there, Mr. Bank, you're sure letting yourself go. Hi, Marv. Morning, trees. Well, what do you think? Should I buy the old store back or not, huh? Yes, I think you're right. Pickles and eat pickle Get ready, loyal and faithful cook. Good day, nightlife. Oh, my, oh, my. Will you look at you? 
Aren't you the sleepy ones now? Oh, the Italian paste has jet lag, does it? And the spaghetti, too, I suppose. You think you can pull the wool over Holly's eyes? You think I don't know what goes on here at night? Up until all hours carrying on. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. I'm speaking specifically to the beans. Not the green beans, but the baked beans from Boston. You hear me? You've been causing altogether too much noise. Hi, Patricia. Good morning, Ethan. Mr. Baker. It's not right. You're doing this. Working for Morello. Ah, oh, Morello's okay. He's not one of us. One of us? The Bakers and the Hawleys go back a long time together. Your name is still important in this town. Well, that's a relief. He's trading on your reputation. You're the reason people shop here. People shop here because they don't want to drive to the supermarket. It's a tragedy seeing you sweep his sidewalk. Well, I'll tell him you said so. Did you think over what we talked about on the phone? About talking with Danny? Like I told you, you're gonna have to talk to him yourself, Mr. Baker. Man's a drunk. It doesn't make sense. He's carrying on like there's no tomorrow. Well, maybe there isn't. He'll listen to you. You're the only friend he's got left. Sorry I'm late, Ethan. Okay, David, just put the stuff outside, will you? Yes, ma'am. You get Danny to sell his land. And you can tell Morola to go to hell. Stop by the house after church on Sunday. Bob, I've got something I want to show you. I'm busy. A little conversation isn't going to cost you anything. I'll expect you. Is, is Dr. Woods food? Well, the customers expect it, Mr. Marullo. Well, people go to the supermarket for this stuff. Huh? We don't make anything on it. Service. Look, this is a business. It used to be a grocery store. You've always done a good job for me, kid. But I gotta teach you something. We got a lot of dead wood on the books, you know? Now, people don't pay on the 15th each month. No more credit, huh? They're good for it. Some of those people have been trading in this store all of their lives. Some are people who cause the problems. It's the summer people who make the business. Now, you got to learn, kid. Sure, the local people are nice. But money is nice, too. Now, good business is the only business that stays in business. Hollies have been living here for over 200 years. They own this store for over 100. They treat people decently. If you think you can barge in here and change all of that, you're wrong. I was just trying to teach you something. Forget it, I shouldn't talk to you that way. The 68 years I got, I got arthritis. I hurt. Now, I try. I try to teach you something. Now, maybe you don't learn. You know, most people don't learn. Me, I learn. OK? Have you decided about selling the store back to me? Why? Why? Why would I do that? Because you got 68 years in arthritis. Because you got all the money you want, because I want it, because you said you'd think about it. Huh? Well, you owned it once before. You didn't do so good. Why? Why do you want it back? Well, maybe you taught me how to do it better. Hmm? Maybe. What do you got in mind, kid? What do you want for it? Well, you make me an offer, and we'll see. Maybe yes, maybe no. I got some kind of idea what you want for it. Why, why, you know the business as good as me, maybe even better. I'll make an offer. 
Here, here's your, here's your pay. And, and we just give Dave his pay, too. And uh, who knows? The sign still says Hawley's. See what you can come up with. utilities. Something for the vacation fund. Eight fifty this week. Hmm. I know a motel. <laughs> we can get a room for an hour for eight fifty. We are going to take a vacation this year. I have almost three hundred dollars in this fund. For August I'll have another hundred, plus your vacation pay, and we can go to the Cape for a week. You're a wonderful woman, Miss Marcy. I know. Twelve fifty education account. Ethan's pocket money, ten dollars now. Ethan? Mm hmm. Do you want to raise? Me? I can go as high as uh, uh, eleven seventy-five. No, oh, where's the hole in my pocket? The more I get, the more I spend. Some vote wasted on me. Good, because I'm starting an appliance fund, five dollars. Mm -hmm. What do you think about painting this house? It needs it. Mm -hmm. The outside should be done first. Mm -hmm. well, I'll buy some paint, send myself up a letter, and make you proud of me. Mm. You paint a barn red, Captain Holly. I always wanted a barn red. Grandma wouldn't let him. Mm. All town used to be painted white, you know that? I get it done this summer, in the cool of the evening. I get Alan to help me. It'd be good. I had a chat with Mr. Marillo. I think he's willing to work something out. I mean, he seems tired, you know, that it just... The story doesn't mean much to him anymore. Mm. Make all the difference in the world to us. I mean, change everything. You'd be able to get what you need for the house. We'd be able to get something for the kids, you know, some of the stuff they want. I mean, it'd be terrific. should offer Mr. Marullo for the store. I, I don't have the faintest idea where to begin. You don't either, do you? It's all the kind. Granddad would have known, wouldn't he? Is he on the bell of dare? Are you there, Captain Holly? Flying jib, outer jib, inner jib, jib. Oh, you figure Captain Baker burned her to the waterline for the insurance, do you? What do you think his son's after me for? Hmm? What do you think Banker Baker wants to talk to me for? Something fishy on the streets of Denmark, wouldn't you say? Nobody wants to talk to me. Not you. Not Dad.
Captain Sidalan. Creamy foul. You. You go to sleep as you would close a closet door. You move quickly off to some far off place. To dreams, I think. Chowdery Sunday. Don't forget to come this time, okay? Why do you think I'm doing this? Skinny dipping. Uh, come on, Ethan. You know you're turning into an old man? A grown man, Granny old kid. Don't kid me. Come on, come on. Somebody will come by and see us. I hope so. Come on, Ethan. Just for the hell of it. Danny. Still great. Fellow Mouse, the lesson for today comes from the book of Marulo, chapter 1, verse 1. It is written that money is not nice. Money is not friendly. Money has no heart. And when it comes to money, kindness is a weakness. Why do I talk to groceries? <laughs> because it doesn't talk back. Because they're discreet. Good morning, Margie Young Hunt. Morning, Ethan. I need some coffee. Regular blend? Yeah. I've just come from reading Mary's fortune. Was she pleased? Yes, I saw money. How did you see how? <laughs> well, I'd have to read yours to know that. I already have all that I can handle. Uh -oh, Mary seems to like the idea. Well, it's in her nature to like what's done by people <laughs> she likes, and she likes you. Yeah, oh, I love her. Well, so do I. Lucky. I know I am. No, not you. I mean her. I wonder if she knows how lucky she is. I'd know. Sometimes I think you know too much. I could teach you what I know. I'd have to ask Mary first. Well, uh, I've been invited for dinner tonight, so I'll bring my cards. You do that. Bye-bye. See ya. All I'm saying is, if you need money for the store, it's a way to get it. No. I don't see why not. Everybody takes loans from the bank. But not me. I've got the house free and clear, and I might lose it. I'm my father's son. You won't lose it. It's just payments. We'll find a way to make them. I lost the store. I don't want to see you keep living this way. I want to be able to... Ethan, I'm thinking about getting a job myself. 
No. I mean, it would help you out, and it would make me happy to do that. The children don't need me as much as they used to. You know, they're grown up now. You can't get a job. There's no jobs for the economy this way. I know a dozen people out of work in town. I'll get one when I can. I don't mean to nag at you, Ethan. It's just that I worry about the children, about the future. Uh -huh. You don't have to worry. Come here. I worry about you. We have a good life, Flower Foot, and it is going to get better. We're going to get the story back, and we are going to have our dignity. We are not going to be rich, but we are going to have that. Now kiss my mouth. I know. Yes. <sighs> <laughs> go see those books you were talking about. Go on. Why can't I? Because God gave you legs and we gave you a bicycle. But a lot of kids have mopeds. They don't cost that much. Well, we can't afford them, Alan. I'm sorry, but we can't. I hate being poor. We can't do anything. We never go anywhere. Hollies have been rich and Hollies have been poor. That's not what matters. What matters is how you behave yourself. Hollies have always been able to make the best out of what they had. Like Grandpa. Yeah. Captain Holly had his values. All the Hollies have had them. Me too. And you, I hope. Now, these are your great great grandfather's logs and journals. Everything he used to think about when he was whaling, everything he did. Those are precious. They've been in the family for years and years. So you take care of them, all right? Okay. You know what I get for winning this contest? Uh -uh. I get to be on TV. I get to go to Washington. And I get money. Oh, uh, you know what else you get? You get the chance of thinking about America, thinking about what makes it great. Yeah. Oh, th this is terrific. This is terrific. You know what I'm going to do with the first big chunk of money I win? No. Yeah. I am going to buy you a car. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. That's all right. I'm going to make you proud of me. These books are terrific. They got all the... Great speeches of American politicians. Everything you ever need to know about what makes America great in that book. Here. Oh, Captain Hall used to read to me from those. Everything you need there. I'm going to go help your mother, okay? Mm -hmm. Neckties separate men from the beasts. You ever see a lion with a necktie? Or a hippopotamus. Nail polish. Lions don't wear it either. Quick. I'm almost done with my essay. Mm-hmm. How come you're more interested in Alan than me? What? <laughs> what makes you think that? You're always asking him things and talking to him. You don't do that with me. Don't I? Yes, I. I don't? No, uh, uh, I mean, I, I don't mean to. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to treat you differently. Hmm? Mama says it's a thing between fathers and sons. She says it'll change, and I'll get more attention. Why? She says I can be anything I want when I grow up. It's different for me than it was for her. Your mother, a very bright woman. to read your essay when you're done with it. Good. Am I fat? treehouse with an elevator. What would you do? I'd crown you the Queen of England. What would you 
would you do with me if I crowned you the Queen of England? Give you Australia. <laughs> This is your foundation. This covers you. It's yourself, your house, your hopes, your future. So much for my future. No, turn this way. It uh, means salvation. What? Hey. Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. Margie, what did you see? Did you see something bad? Well, it's OK. You can do it another time. Once, when I was a little girl, I saw a snake change its skin. It was a rattlesnake. And uh, just now, I saw the whole thing both times. I looked at the cards, and they disappeared. And I saw that snake changing its skin. It's part dusty and ragged, and part fresh and new. You looked like you were in a trance. Snakes are no big deal. Will you do my fortune? Yes, yes, of course I will, but not tonight. I... Well, Ethan will see you home. I drove. Mary, I think, I think you better keep him here. You don't know what it's like to be without one. Well, I'll see you to your car then. Okay. okay. Thanks for dinner. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, bye kids. kids. Let's do the dishes. Bye bye. <laughs> well, it's quite a show you put on. It's all a show. Everything. It's game. Like a snake. Things are going to change for you, Ethan. Maybe I like them the way they are. <laughs> Maybe you don't have any choice. Ladybug, I would take you for a wonderful picnic on the water. We're going to the baker's. Why don't we just fly away instead? It's not everybody that gets invited there. We should be pleased. Yeah, he invited my father to dinner, and then he foreclosed. Something has come over you, Ethan, behaving this way. Maybe oh. I have a secret life. <laughs> That's not funny, Ethan. Talk to me. You sure you want me to own a store again? Yes, I do. I would just rob a bank. I mean, you could drive the getaway car. Bonnie Holly and Ethan Klein. If you don't get that store back, you'll hate yourself. I know you, Ethan Holly. Not sleeping at night, walking till all hours, talking to things. I'm only answering their questions. You go to work every day, and it's called Holly's, and it's not yours. You think you failed your name. You can't get away from that, Ethan. Take a chance on yourself. I'll take it with you. I love you. You're a beautiful woman, Mary Holly. Ethan. Run away with me. Ethan. Why don't we sell the house and move and start all over again? We can run naked through the woods. We're going to be late. Oh. It won't frighten you, me being in business again. No, it won't. Don't be silly. Be silly. We have to go in. Mm-hmm. Mr. Baker invited us here for a reason. I want you to listen. He can help you, so let him if he wants to. It's an opportunity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
These are called love. Isn't that a splendid name for a violet? Mm -hmm. They all have names. My husband is very fond of Ethan. He thinks of him as a son. Oh, he'd never say so directly, but the feeling is there. He'd like to help, and so would I. Well, that's very kind of you. <laughs> There's nothing kind about it. Come look at these. What I have to say is bound to be in confidence. I know you're not a talker. No all he ever was. As a businessman, I know that New Baytown has got to grow or it'll die. We're dying now. The summer trade is not enough. A good businessman owes it to his community to do something about it. We've got a lot of people out of work here and no way to find them jobs. What I have in mind will remedy that. And I know you'll want to help. Now, come on, I want to show you something. You have such a lovely garden. Oh, thank you. Well, it takes all my time. You can't get help anymore. There are no more gardeners. Here, Mary, sit down. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mildred. I'll manage from here. Yes, Mrs. Baker. It's nice to see you, Mrs. Holman. And you, Mildred? What do you want from life, Mary? I just want Ethan to be happy. For yourself. It's not just Danny's land I'm talking about. It's the land next to it, including Morello's store. We need the whole thing. That'll be the end of Holly's. No, he'll be offered a deal to reopen in the mall. A very favorable deal. He'll make a fortune. Do more business than he ever did. I don't like it. I don't like Morello, but we need him. I'm not going to tell him until I absolutely have to. He'll probably hold me up for plenty as it is. Designed by one of the leading firms in the country. It'll have everything, including a four-theater movie complex, restaurants, two department stores. I'm negotiating with them already. Small shops of every kind. It'll be the largest mall in the region. It'll attract people from all over. And it'll provide hundreds of jobs while it's being built. And hundreds of permanent jobs after that. It'll generate millions of dollars. It'll be the best thing that ever happened to this town. It's incredible. This is why I've been after you to talk to Danny. I'm offering you a chance to get in on the ground floor. You'll be a partner. And your only investment will be getting Danny to sell. You'll be a rich man. I wouldn't have to invest anything? Nothing. <laughs> I'll be rich. Richer than any hall he's ever been. It's just that I somehow can't avoid feeling that I would be Selling Danny down the river. Not if you explain it to him properly. Get him to see the wisdom of selling. You'll be doing him a favor. You are the only one that can get through to him. There are ways of taking Danny's land, but I don't want to do that. It takes time and it doesn't look good. Like with my dad. Banks have a responsibility to their depositors. Sometimes they have to foreclose. I'm promising you, Ethan, this is a sure thing. Now, don't screw it up like your father did. It's going to be done one way or another anyway. In the meantime, I want you to take this. I know things have been difficult. 10,000. Well, what's, what's this for? Consider it an advance against the future. This is $10,000. I mean, this obligates me to you. No, it's not a loan. It's a gift. It's business. That's the way it's done, Ethan. Go on, take it for Mary and the children. Thank you. Business is business. <laughs> Let's join the ladies. Is life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of chains and slavery? Forbid it, almighty God. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death, I did it. <laughs>
very good. They sure talked funny back then. I've been reading some speeches in my father's books. I don't need speeches. I'm so glad you could come to dinner, Danny. I uh, twisted Ethan's arm. Oh, Damn it! Oh. Watch your Watch language, Watch young your man. Hands. I didn't do it on purpose. Well, it was pretty right. stupid. Oh, this. didn't you ever spill anything when you were a kid? I mean, you act like you never did anything wrong. Alan. You act like you're perfect. And Alan. I'm... How many times have I told you to fix that sink? It's all stopped up again. I've asked Every you Every time I fix, fix something, it. something else goes wrong. What difference Go does ask it make? Your brother, no, stop I'm acting done. foolish. Do come back to this to? table. Yes, you do, because it would please me. That's what difference it would make. Pleases you. I'm very sorry. For what? Oh. It's a pleasure to see a family at work. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. Alan, I, uh, I spilled a lot of milk when I was a kid. Yes, sir. <gasps> In fact, I, I remember your father once spilled soup all over my father. <laughs> Chowder. Clam chowder, I believe it was, yes. <laughs> you could hear the yelling all over town. <laughs> he, he was sitting there like he that. quite I a mess. The chowder was like that. <laughs> uh, the front door, his father was right. all that. Right. He almost got you, too. <laughs> Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by the sun of York. And all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. <laughs> York's sun is a little fogged up. Ah, uh, all's right with the world, Ethan. God's in his heaven. My belly's contented, my heart is full. Tell me something, Ethan. You think I would have been a good father? Yeah. You're a lucky man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope so. But you are too, Danny. Look. My kingdom. <laughs> Give you a horse for it. <laughs> From the Taylor house to the ocean, as far as the eye can see. Ethan, let's play. Let's play the day away, huh? Wait till you see what I got. A new pinball machine. It's 30 years old, in mint condition. Wait till you hear the noises it makes. I, I haven't learned how to beat it yet. I gotta go to the john. I'll tell you, we're gonna play that sucker till we go cross-eyed. Here you go, E. Cheers. You're drinking too much, Danny. Yeah. No, you're just throwing your money away. Yeah. How much you got left, huh? Yeah. What are you going to do for money when it's gone? I'll worry about it, man. One thing at a time, my friend, one thing at a time. Here it is. It's the real thing, my boy. The genuine article. OK, you go first. Mr. Baker came to see me. He told me he wants to buy your place. He told me why. I think if he wants to do something for you, you should take advantage of it. I mean, it sounds like a really good deal to me. I'm not selling him anything. Just because you don't like him? I don't like him either, and I've got a lot more reason than you do, and I would do it. It's a lot of money, Danny. It'll give you a fresh start. I, I love you. You're my best friend, but you're wrecking your life. I'll never sell this place. This is where I live. This is where I always live. I want to play my game. I think you should do it. Look, old wallpaper sticks like crazy, comes off in bits and pieces, no good for anything. I want to play now. We're not talking about a game, Danny. We're talking about your life. It's all games, Ethan. Mine's better than yours, that's all. You're crazy. <laughs> Ethan, where are you going, Ethan? The hell with it. I'm sorry. No. Oh, Ethan, come back. Ethan, I want to play. Hello, Pigeon Flake. Hi. You need a few things? Uh-huh. Hey, Marjorie invited us to dinner with the foremaster. She says she never entertains us. Says her place is too small. Oh, no. I can 
see you busy doing my gardening with you. Mr. Morello? Morning. Hello, Miss Elgar. You're looking well. Thank you. The prices here are outrageous. We got the best merchandise. You're charging too much, Ethan. The supermarket's cheaper. If I could drive, I'd go there. I want to see in the back, Ethan. I've been thinking about getting a car. First, I'd have to get a license. I had one once. I wonder what happened to it. It didn't used to be so expensive here. Well, times change. Not for the better, they don't. Mr. Morello? You keep good books, kid. Honest. You never take from the petty cash. You break down everything you take home. Maybe honesty is my racket. No jokes. Uh, what I say is true. I keep track. Everybody steals. Some more, some less. Not you. Thank you. Oh, well, uh, there's sparklers for your kids. The 4th of July. They're safe, they're legal. They'll like them. I did when I was a kid. How about the store? About the store. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I sell. Maybe I go back to Sicily. I, I got nephews, nieces I, I never saw. Maybe I don't go back. At my age, who knows anything? I'll give you ten thousand dollars down and the rest out of profits. Fifty thousand down, the rest from the profits. Fifty? Well, that's for the store, the land, and uh, the goodwill. The goodwill is mine. People come to this store because it's called Holly's. They come here because I am a Holly. The goodwill is mine. That's the price. But it's too much. It's too high. It is too much. Then don't, don't buy it. Well, I'm going to buy it, Mr. Marullo. I'm going to buy it. You think you know so much about business. Well, I'll get you down payment. I'm going to get it. Well, I know a little bit myself. Take the sparklers. They're for the kids. Hi, Dad. I used to call these marble orchards, remember? Me in the back seat, you'd yell out, look at that marble orchard over there. Sure does look like lean pickings to me. Sure are lean pickings now, Dad. I look at Mary counting her dollars, and it kills me. I look at the store, and it kills me. I lost her. I'm just the same as you. How come some people can understand money, and some people just can't? I mean, Captain Hawley could. All the Hawleys could till it came down to you. How come you couldn't have known Dad? How come you couldn't have taught me? How come you had to go and lose everything, hmm? Why'd you have to go and leave me the way I am? What the hell's the use of me? What the hell's the point of me yelling at a stone? I sure do hope you found your peace, Dad. I sure as hell can't. That's your grandfather and your great-grandfather in front of the store. We've always held the same values. You know, the, the Holly tradition and history has been passed down through the generations. My father taught me what his father taught him about hard work and honesty and decency. I'm trying. Mm-hmm. Well, you have to fight against the current of false values, Alan. You have to know what you stand for and what you believe in. And you have to stick by it. I mean, no matter what anyone else says, you know, you have to do that, Alan. If they were alive now, they wouldn't look like that. Well, my father had his pride. I mean, he might have lost his money, but he never lost his pride. He's a good man. Here's a picture of him when he had everything. My say's not going too well. Mm hmm. 
It's, it's not easy comparing the way Americans used to feel about things to the way they do now. Been working hard on it. I read it out loud, but it doesn't sound right. I want it to be great. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I won't let you down. Hmm? She could find someone. Don't look, Ethan. She just seems like such a sad soul under all that makeup. Oh, she wearing makeup. You just be kind to her, Ethan. Okay. If you say so, I will. How kind do you think I should be? I'd say a fair to middling kindness would be enough. You think she's after me? No, don't be silly, Ethan. She's my friend. You know, I don't really believe in those fortunes she tells. It's like your horoscope. When you read it in the paper, you think, uh, that sounds good. That's me, but you don't really believe in it. <laughs> Not like I believe in us. <laughs> you two look great together. Uh, you know, if I could find someone like Ethan to dance with, I might even get married again. Well, it's an awful lot of trouble to go to just to dance with somebody. Yeah, besides, I'm a dime a dozen, so. <laughs> Ten cents a dance? Well, it's cheaper than marriage. Excuse me. I guess I'll just have to keep him. Mm. Doesn't marriage get stale after a while? Waking up with the same person every morning. <laughs> I like a little variety. Keeps me at my best. Well, I believe two people can be in love forever. But don't you get restless? I mean, don't you get to the point where... Well, you need some, something else, something different? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm impossible to please. Marge, you could have any man you ever wanted. Well, I thought I wanted the two I had. One died, the other one ran away. I guess you're the lucky one. Hmm? I get lonely sometimes, but it doesn't mean much. Ethan, dance with Margie. Um, you could just practice. Thanks. <laughs> Do you care to dance with me, Madam? Well, I wouldn't mind. Well, she's right. I'm not very good. Yes, you are. I bet you are. Nice of Mary to let me dance with you. Well, Mary's your friend. Well, I hope you're my friend, too. I want you to be. I'm yours. My door is always open if you need someone to talk to, if you need anything. I'm very fond of you, children. <laughs> My children are very fond of you. Marulo is in the country illegally. Huh? He came in at the end of the war through Canada. He was in Mussolini's army. I think he might have cooperated with the Germans.
country. Isn't this a great country? Our forefathers thought so, too. Our forefathers set a new Baytown because they thought so. They saw promise here. The same promise that created our great country. The same promise that brings us here today to celebrate our independence. America is great because that promise is still being lived. The promise of economic growth and material well-being. Our community hasn't lost that promise. I can assure you of that. There will be jobs here. New Baytown is going to grow and prosper. The future is bright with promise, and you are the ones who will benefit. The best is yet to come. Fourth of July, Miss Baker. Yeah, hon, will you watch the hot dogs? Huh? That was a nice speech. Well, my wife wrote it. We need more money. I want to buy the old store back. I offered Mr. Marullo the 10000 but I'll need some more. Another 40000 I mean, it'll be worth it. The land itself should be worth a quarter of a million by the time the mall goes in. You learn fast. Oh, no, I always wanted the store. The mall doesn't change anything. It changes the stakes. It's just more interesting is all. I, I don't know whether Mr. Marullo knows what's going on. What he doesn't know won't hurt him. Well, in that case, I should act pretty quickly. And you want me to give you another 40000 before he finds out? Uh, if you want to deal with me instead of Mr. Marullo. And you'll get me Danny's land. I will. Guess I better congratulate you, young man. Clever bit of business, if ever I've seen one. I'm delighted, Ethan. Of course you'll get your money. You've got your store. Hold your, hold your brush on one side like that. Slop it on. And when you get nearly all the paint out of your brush, you extend it, even it, OK? Out there you go. Right, good boy, huh? Good work. like your style. Things are good, aren't they? Sure are. They get better. Watch it, Alan. I can't do it perfect. Perfectly. It's an adverb, and you don't have to do it perfectly, you have to do it correctly. Now, come on, I showed you how. I forgot. Well, it's important to learn how to do it correctly, so I'll show you again, Alan. I don't want you to. I know how. You don't appear to know how, Alan. Alan now, watch Alan, you... telephone! Alan, look where you put your brush. It's wrong him. Oh, I just didn't pay any attention. I get a little impatient. Sorry, it's going to be okay. Is he going to drive this dark? Mary. Alan won the contest. He won. He what? Won I'm New York. He won. To tell. The man spoke to me personally. His name's Mr. Brock. He said, <laughs> I won. Alan Hawley, he said, I'd like to congratulate you on an outstanding essay. He said he'll be calling back oh, later with all the information. I can't believe it. I think oh. it's wonderful. He's going to be on TV. Oh. I don't think a Hawley's ever been on television. Oh, before. this is going to be terrific. He's going to read his essay. Well, isn't that something? I sure look forward to hearing it, Alan. i to get you some new clothes. Maybe we can walk them with you when you go on. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. I'm going to hurry. I'm going to make I didn't think I had a chance. <laughs> I guess I did. I won. Uh-huh. I guess I'm all right. I think I'll amount to something now. 
think so. Mighty proud of you, son. How's your swimming class going this year? Okay. Huh? When I was your age, I used to be able to swim to the far raft and back without even stopping. I can do that. You getting ready for New York? It's not till next week. I'm getting excited already. I'm very, I'm very proud of you, Alan. Down by two points. Polly drives for the basket. He fouls. The basket's good. If he makes this, it's all over. I don't know about you, Harry, but I think Holly's a shoe in for the MVP. I couldn't agree more, Bert. Nature loves you, Fern Tip. Flowers love you. The things that would destroy them stay away. What are you talking about? Nature loves a good person. You are a good person. Better than the rest of us. No, I'm not either. Come here. Come here. If I say you are a good person, you're a good person. And I say you're a good person. Well, I cannot keep it any longer. I was going to try and keep it until it was a fact, but I cannot keep it in. I think we are going to get the store. I have the financing. I'm going to talk to Marilla in the morning. Ah! I'm so happy. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm happy. It is going to be all right. It is finally going to be all right. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Shoot, shoot, No, shoot, I'm no good on. at that. Go on, it's easy. I... What are you doing? I'm guarding you. Oh. Here, hold these. Come on, yeah. That's not fair. Yes! Oh. Hey! OK. Mary! Oh, thank God. Just in the nick of time, there would have been no point to the celebration with your face off. What celebration? Star. Life. Oh. Us. Hmm. Stretch yourself out there seductively while I open this. Okay. How is this? Hmm, it's late. Get to work tomorrow. No! I start a new life tomorrow. Oh. What are you doing? Celebrating. <laughs> the children. I gave them knockout drops. You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to spill the champagne and you. I might spill it all over your body. That's sticky. I would find a way <laughs> to get it off. <laughs> what about these lights? I want to feast my eyes upon you. <laughs> you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Oh, you're like a ripe <laughs> pluck from a tree. Dripping sweet juices. Quiet. <laughs> Quiet, Ethan. I'm serious. You know how you, you know how excited you get. Downstairs again? <laughs> what are you doing? You are crazy. You'll see you as crazy. I have beautiful skin. <laughs>
Good morning, Miss Good morning. Mm -hmm. How come you're using that thing? Because it's good luck. Today is my lucky day. The great, great, great grandfather carved that out of the tooth of a whale. Been holly luck ever since. Mm -hmm. I like whales. Mm -hmm. yeah, I do too. You see a big business, you know that? You make soap, oil for lamps, needles on them. You want to shave? Mm -hmm. I want to shave my legs, but Mama won't let me. Well, good for her. Once you start, you can't stop. You're stuck with it. I couldn't wait to shave. My father warned me against it, but I wouldn't listen. Is that sharp? Sure is. How come you don't cut yourself? Uh, Sometimes I do. upset about something, you're never here for me. Oh, honey, but... Oh, dear. Well, I'm here now. So you just talk to Dr. Holly and let's see if he can find your problem and cure it. What is it? You didn't build my treehouse. I didn't, did I? I had so many things in my head, I just plumb forgot. But I will, I promise you. After today, today after today, I'm going to get everything done. Okay? Okay. I love you too. Mr. Rulo! Mr. Rulo! I gotta talk to you. No! Not talk! Not with you! I got the $50,000. You're no good. No good. I sell you nothing. You're joking. You think I'm stupid or something? I find out about the land, about the shopping mall. You know all the time. Wait a minute. You think you can cheat me? I didn't know all the time. That's not true. Who told you that? Never mind. I know. I keep my store. You, you go back to work. When the time comes, I sell a baker. You disappoint me, Ethan. You make me very sad. That's not why I wanted to buy the store. Oh, the store, because it's my store. It's gonna be my store. It's gonna be my store. Washington, D.C. Yeah, operator, can you give me the telephone number of the Department of Immigration and Naturalization? All right, 553 spins left. I gather you're going. Let's go. Here we go. Stop! Stop! Oh! Alan? 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 I believe I asked you to cut the grass today. I forgot. Would you do it now, please? How come we don't have a gas mower? Tommy's got one you can ride on. And Mr. Baker is a gardener. Could you pay me something? I don't have any money, you know. Five dollars a week for allowance is nothing these days. Most of the kids get ten. Tommy gets twelve fifty. You have a problem with money, young man. You have some lessons to learn. I'll have my own when the contest prizes are awarded. That's going in the bank. All of it. Hey, that's my money. I won it. Yeah, it's your money, but it's going in the bank. I'd like to read that essay, Alan. They've got it. You must have a copy. You don't have a copy. What would have happened if that had been lost? It wasn't, was it? I'm going to make it possible for you to earn some money, Alan. You are going to work in the store for the rest of the summer. I'm in the swimming program. You are going to work for Dave. You are going to stock the shelves. And if you do really well, then I'm going to let you wait on customers. I'm getting my junior lifesavers. No, Alan, you're going to work. You can't make me. You're going to work, Alan, until you straighten yourself out. Why do I always have to do what you want? You act like I'm no good, like I'm always doing something wrong. Nothing I do makes any difference. You come back 
here, young man. Come back here, young man. I haven't finished with you. Ethan! Why? He's just a boy. I heard the whole thing. You crushed him. You beat him down for nothing. What is the matter with you? He has a false image of the world, Mary. I want him to understand what it's really like. Oh, what the hell do you know about the world? Be the clerk in a store! You want him to turn out like you? Afraid to take a chance on anything? I will not have you taking out your fears on that boy. On any of us. No one here did anything to you. No one here has done anything to hurt you. Come back here, I'm talking to you! Ethan! Come down out of that tree before you hurt yourself. you to the water line today. Think I'm burning to the water line? I brought a bottle. You did. You did bring a bottle. <laughs> Two points. Home cooked meal. Pretty classy. Cooked by yours truly. Thank oh, you. Oh boy. Peas, potatoes, uh, chicken, salad. I got Mr. Baker to loan me the money so I could buy the old store back. I'm celebrating it. Sit down. Baker. Well, I, I didn't have any choice, really. I mean, Marola was asking so much. And then he decided not to sell. So, you have to, Danny. You have to sell your land to Mr. Baker. I'm in deep trouble. <laughs> it's a good life. When he can take it from you, you know that, don't you? You just go to court and have you declared incompetent. I'm going to do something with my life, Ethan. You don't think he can do it, but he can. I mean, just, just look at yourself. I feel terrific. Yeah, but look at what you're doing. You really ought to eat some of this food. I wish you would. Sell it and get out. I mean, it'd be a shame to waste it. You're doing yourself a favor, Danny. It's what's wrong. This place and everything it stands for. You can't go on living like this. You know, Ethan, there are only two kinds of money. Yeah, I know. Too much or too, too little? little. Too little. <laughs> it's not just for you and me. There's a lot at stake in this for a lot of people. Jobs. He could start this whole town rolling again. Danny Taylor succeeds at last. Extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> this wine. This wine has been in the cellar for over 50 years. My grandfather laid it down. It's the last bottle. Go get yourself a glass, Ethan. I'm in trouble. Can't you understand that? You gotta sell your land to Mr. Baker, please. <laughs> I can't sell it. <laughs> I don't own it anymore. Who'd you sell it to? I, I signed it over to you. <laughs> all witnessed and legal. All yours, my friend. I, I can't take this. Sure you can. You took my bicycle once. Well, you had two of them. <laughs> you sell it to Baker. Ethan, you sell it. I don't need this place. I don't want it. Doesn't doesn't fit into my plans. I'm gonna 
be Mr. Baker for both of us, Danny. I'm going to get you a terrific price for this. You're going to be able to live anywhere you want. You're going to be able to travel, have fun, enjoy myself, do what I want to do. Get on with it. Stop wasting my time. Yeah. Oh, Ethan, look, after we finish, you know what? We can go in and play some pinball. I, I beat that new machine. Ran up 160,000 points, 10 free games. I'm happy you did this, Danny. I am happy. I just want you to be happy, you know? Spend the evening with me. Okay. Um, probably, uh, really, I should go home. Say hi to Mary and the kids. Walking around. Well, I'm glad. Come on in. I'll fix us a drink. No, I don't think so. I don't think I should have come. Well, come on, a cup of coffee won't hurt. Why so down in the mouth? Looks like you just lost your best friend. Talk to Margie. You take it black, don't you? Uh-huh. For heaven's sake, sit down. You know, I used to find it very difficult to talk to my husbands. And I think, I think sometimes You get too close to say certain things. <laughs> what about Danny? Oh, you two used to be like brothers. Ethan, Ethan, you can talk to me. It's, it's like we're prisoners, you know, I mean, inside ourselves. Oh, even if we wanted to get out, I don't think we could. The right person might have the key. Ethan, there is no future. It's just what you have now, and you can have me. I want you. <laughs> I'm not going to push. You'll come back when you're ready. All right to be selfish. It's your life. Take what you want. Take it. Come on. Uh, I'll be here. I'll see you. Finally asleep. Why are you doing that now? 
They keep putting too much off lately. I love you. I'm sorry about Alan. I've had a lot of problems. The store's not working out like I thought it would. Some things started to happen, and I let them build up, and uh, I don't know whether I can handle them. I don't want to talk, Ethan. I want you to make love to me. Yeah, but if I don't get the store, Mary, I mean, I, maybe I can persuade him to sell. Still, I think he's in some kind of trouble. That's too bad. I want to know what kind. If you want to tell me. Would it make any difference? Not really. A long time ago, I think he came into this country without permission. I guess he was on the run. I don't know how he got in. I just know that he's afraid that the authorities might find out and then they'll deport him. You know, it's not the end of the world. I mean, he would just be going home. He's got family there. He's rich. He was going to retire anyway. What has that got to do with us? I'm happy for you, Ethan. Be happy for yourself. Hold me, please. I will. God, I love you. I love you. They were from immigration. They just took him away. I never saw anything like it. Said he'd have a chance to call a lawyer later. He was in the country illegally. Did you know that? Did he say anything? Didn't say anything. He just went along like it was nothing. Someone must have told him. When would we do a thing like that? I never liked the man. I always figured there was something wrong with him. People ought to stay where they come from. Look, I'm going to go out for a while, OK? Wake up, walrus. Pigs have wings and the sea is boiling hot.
Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. Daddy, no. Please. <laughs> I didn't want you to land. <laughs> I didn't want you to love me. All I, all I wanted, all I wanted was a little my star. Oh God. Oh. I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though this body be destroyed, yet shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not as a stranger. We brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can bring nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. him the way he was a long time ago. They do. He just didn't want to be a drunk anymore. He didn't know how else to do it. You want to be alone with him? Okay. I understand. I hear we're going to be partners. Why didn't you tell me you own Danny's land? You're going to get back everything your father lost. More. The name of Hawley is going to mean something again. Drop by the office tomorrow, and uh, we'll go over the details. Shame. Ethan, there is nothing wrong with what we did. It makes us friends. And a woman in my position needs friends. Baker's my friend. I'm, uh, I'm his mother confessor, among other things. He told me about the store, about the money he gave you. Marula is my friend, too. He used to come by evenings and talk. Talked about you and the mall. I don't think he's going to mind being deported. There's no fight left in him. I turned him in. 
Oh, I knew you wouldn't do it. Your sense of honor wouldn't let you do it. It is what you wanted, isn't it? I know you'd have done it if you could. Look, you can get the store now. I can help you. Because Maru won't trust me. Ethan, you need me. Ten generations of Hollies are going to kick your behind around the block for what you've done. And when they finish, you're going to punish yourself. A secret is a terribly lonesome thing. And I know how to keep a secret. I did it for you. I care about you, Ethan. You're too caught up in your rituals and family tradition. Life is relative. You do what you have to. You change. I know how much this hurts now. But you'll get over it. You'll see. Time will pass, and it's just part of the world. It's part of being alive. You're going to thank me. Ethan, Ethan, I had to do it. I don't get alimony anymore. I don't know how to take care of myself. I never have. It won't cost you much. Money when I need it. Your company. Are you Mr. Hawley? 
I'm Louis Brock from the Is America Still Great contest. I didn't want to go in the house. What I have to say has to be between us. Please. fault we didn't catch it right away. He was quite ingenious. He didn't use the obvious speeches. The material he copied was very obscure. I was the one who discovered it. I'm sorry. We don't want any bad publicity. We'll work something out by way of compensation. We'll make it worth your while. those books but you took other people's words Alan and you pretended that they were yours who cares but you can't do that that's cheating but everyone does it why shouldn't I not everyone I'm not, not decent people what difference does it make you're the one who wanted me to be in it you're the one who kept telling me how good I had to be nothing I do makes any difference you don't care you don't care about anything. Oh, yes, I do, Alan. You don't care about me. Yes, I do. You hear me? I hear. I hear a lot. I hear what's on TV. I know what's going on. Words, that's all I hear. Talk. All you do is talk. Everyone steals and cheats and lies. That's what I hear. They do it everywhere. Everyone does it. Well, everyone except you. I'm worse than anybody. I've betrayed everybody who loves me. I've betrayed myself, my heritage, everything I stood for and believed in. My life is nothing. Said the end of itself. If it were not for you, it would not be possible for me to go on living. But you, but you, Alan, do that. We do it. Together. You and me. We start all over again. Together. We do it together. I'm not going to 
forget Danny's land. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But you're not going to get it. You can have your money back, Jim. do what I've done if I could, Father. How do I live with it? Where do I find the courage? All you lost was your money. I've, I've lost everything you taught me. Human dignity, decency, how to treat people, how to live. I gave them all away. It was all my fault. It's not true that there's a community of light in the world. Each one carries his own, his lonely own. And when one goes out, it is darker than if it had never shone at all. I will not let that happen to my children. 